Hi guys, it's me Val Toxic Free. Welcome. Happy Monday. I'm a day late. Um, I was going to do a video yesterday. I went out on Saturday night and I'm afraid I had a little bit, let's say I got a bit tiddly, let's just put it that way. We'll leave it there, shall we? And I had a bit of a headache yesterday, so I didn't make a video. Don't drink, guys. Boys and girls, it's bad for you. Don't drink. And by the way, I didn't actually realise there was 56 different types of gins. I actually realised that when I asked for one gin, can I have a gin and tonic, please? What kind would you like? 56 different types and flavours, so how times have changed since I was a young youth. Right, okay, back onto the videos. I sometimes just come up with these ideas whilst I'm just sleeping mainly, lying in bed, as you do with your insomnia. And I just thought how uh, narcissists or narcissism was based on more based on opinion and fact. So what I did is just scripted a video today because um, I was kind of confused as what I had in my head, so I tried to write it down. I hope it makes sense. Narcissist abuse is invisible, hidden in twisted words, interpretations misinterpretations, context, perceptions, riddles, trick questions, jokes, innuendos, sarcasm, opinions. It thrives in our insecurities, our self-doubt and our fears and it lives in ambiguity. Now there's a saying, ambiguity is the devil's volleyball. I translate that as confusion and vagueness is the narc's ping pong. Narcs use ambiguous conversations Conversations that have two meanings, they can switch on you at any time, confuse you and then take control. Twisting words out of context, blame you, blame your stupidity, do the big switcheroo. Then leave the scene of the crime smiling and feeling smug, leaving you scratching your head and thinking, what the fuck just happened? When talking to a narcissist, however you interpret their meaning, you will always choose the wrong one. <laughs> Even when you've picked the right one, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Basically, you're just damned. A quick twist of a sentence, an innuendo, a joke, a backhanded compliment. Wow, you look good. You were getting a bit heavy on the hips. Your hair's lovely, but it does make your face look a bit round. A narcissist can change the meaning of anything to suit their agenda at any time. They can change your perspective, your opinion, or simply make things mean something completely different. You see a rabbit? No, they'll make you see the duck. Again, depending on their devious plan. Narcissism hides behind charm and false empathy, priesthoods, spiritualism and faith. It hides as leaders in groups, in cults. It's hidden in what's called the dog whistle, where only the victim picks up on the abuse in a room full of people. It hides in the in-betweens, the is it or isn't it. It hides in the he says and she says. It's hidden in love in a simple bunch of flowers, in a coffee made in the morning. It's always there in loving things done, but done for a price. Read between the lines in emails. It's hidden in text. These ambiguous messages are shared in Facebook groups so other survivors can scrutinize and give their own perception, own interpretation and opinion on what they see. He's gaslighting you. Look how he's twisting that sentence. Leave him, grey rock him, hun. He's a narc. Different perspectives on hidden abuse, all opinions, interpretations from different views. Drop the odd sneaky troll narc in the mix, you've got one very confused victim. Camouflaged words, a private language, and the aim of this language is to throw us off the scent, to obtain narcissist supply. Opinion is projection from within each person's own experience. We all have different views. Each project their history, thoughts and triggers onto others. The vulnerable, the codependents, new victims may all be taken in by their words. The survivors further on in their own healing process see narcissism different or clearer. Someone yet to experience narcissism will see nothing. There lies victim blaming and shaming. Maybe you're just too sensitive, hun. I've known him for years. Narcissists know all this. Now, they're not clever. They've just practiced and had years of experience in perfecting their techniques since childhood. We are only starting our education on this subject and they're old hands at it. You see, a black eye, there's proof. Proof of abuse, fact. No opinions, no misinterpretations, no narcs slipping through the net. Abuse is seen, 
and called out by all. Our bruises are in the inside. Be careful where you look for validation, everywhere, and everyone's got their own opinion. Not everyone's right. The great areas where devils thrive. Whether it's ambiguity, context, the uneducated, the victim or the healed. Empaths, codependents, trolls, the angry, the young, the old, the experienced, the educated and not so educated. All see narcissism through projection of themselves. Narcissism is seen through the eye of the beholder. Sad but true. Thus where the problem lies of justice. The above reasons why it's so hard to get justice as narcissism is built on opinion, not fact. The covertness of the narc and perception of the viewer, the lack of proof, the he said, the she said, the hearsay. It's a minefield. They will make a normal sentence sound twisted whilst their insidious words slip by. The lack of understanding triggers a negative cognitive response because our brains crave certainty. Communication gets obscured. They hide and evade and avoid and disguise their true intentions. They have loopholes in the context. They will switch at any moment. As we stumble through a minefield of illogical words and endure inconsistencies and word salad. The conclusion, it's hard to see where the blurred lines between good and bad are. And their abuse can easily be mistaken for normal behaviour. There's a big problem of the grey area in abuse. Justice is hard to prove. People give conflicting and confusing responses, all based on opinion and interpretation. No one can make sense. Clarity is what we need, out of otherwise confusing details, but clear context from a narc? Nah. Without it, we're unable to entangle a message, understand the riddles and work out their ambiguous meanings of the narcissist manipulating rambles. Society tends to victim blame survivors of narcissist abuse because there's no visible scars. Those who have not experienced it can never really truly understand the complexity. They won't recognise the amount of psychological and emotional damage. Vagueness is met with interpretation, which leads to further uncertainty. And the narcs slip through, which leads us to nowhere. We need clarity, but clarity is not in the narcissist language. Guys, I hope that made sense. Basically, just be careful who you look at for proof, for opinions on who's a narcissist and who's not, because they hide and it's so hard. Everybody's got their own opinion and narcissism hides behind opinion. Education is the only way that we can deal with these people because the way they treat us isn't because we're broken, it's because they're broken. It's not anything that we've done. We're not perfect. But don't listen, if someone calls you stupid, it doesn't mean you're stupid, it's because they're saying it, it doesn't mean you are. Just because someone's saying something to you, it doesn't mean you are that person, it doesn't mean you are what they're saying to you. It's coming from them, not you. So, I'm going to leave it there. Guys, stay safe.